Hey, what's up you guys? It's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And so I like to source items that I can flip for profit. Usually it's online. Um, but if you guys are not new here and you've been watching my channel, you guys know I have had quite the plethora of mystery boxes uh, from ThreadUp, Boutique by the Box, Joe Mar. I have had the new inventory coming in hot. And I have way too much stuff. I have so much stuff. Like, I can't even list it all. And I'm looking for some options to unload some of this stuff quickly, especially the stuff that is not necessarily going to make me a ton of money online. Um, so I'm going to go and take it to a buy sell trade store which is not something I normally do um, so if you like reseller content certainly subscribe to my channel I uh, post content about two to three times a week sometimes a little more than that and I love sharing tips and tricks with you guys my unboxings I do the 90-day updates I do thrift hauls and what sold videos so if you find any of that helpful definitely subscribe. I would love to share my reseller life with you. So um, I live in the Metro Atlanta area. And if you are not familiar with Metro Atlanta, it's very big, uh, big, big city. And I know a lot of people, you know, you probably see on YouTube or on social media, a lot of people take their um, stuff like this to Plato's Closet. Well, Plato's Closet for me is not close um, I mean, it's not that far, but it's just one of those things like it's not anywhere in town that I would normally like be over on that side of town. Right. So I haven't really sourced for Plato's Closet since I've lived here, but they are opening a uptown cheapskate uh, near somewhere that I go a lot very often. So somewhere it's right over by where I go to work out several times a week. And it would be a lot easier for me to take my buy, sell, trade stuff there. So they just opened for buying only. They are not open for selling. But um, one thing I think that's a little different than Plato's Closet, at least to, that I can gather, is that they, uh, like you can sell to them and they'll put a credit on file for you. Whereas Plato's, as far as I know, unless something changed, they just give you cash or you can trade it in for other stuff. So this place, I think if I take this stuff there, they will give me a store credit when they do open so that I can go in there and do some sourcing. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm taking to them. And this is a little bit blind because I haven't done buy, sell, trade in a very long time, but I'll show you guys what I'm taking to them. Um, and then I will edit this video after I've already been there. And I'll put on the screen a, like a yes or a no um, of whether or not they accepted the item. Nope. So let's let's take a look. Um, most of this stuff is stuff I've received in um, mystery boxes and stuff lately. So these are, the brand is Rewash. And these were in the resort pack from Jomar. They are like split up the side. I have no idea if they're going to take those or not, but I didn't feel like um, dealing with listing them myself. This is, the brand is Commando, and it is a bodysuit. It's brand new with tags, so it's like a turtleneck or like a high, high neck bodysuit. I won this in a, a giveaway on Instagram. One of my Instagram friends gave away like a bundle, and... I, I'm having a hard time photographing that. Like, it just doesn't look good. And so I'm going to uh, take that in. These are some jogger pants. So nice, like, cropped jogger pants. The brand is Reflex. These are also brand new with tag. Um, I also won these on an Instagram giveaway where one of my Instagram friends actually, like, curated a box for me. And these are so nice, just unfortunately they don't fit me. Uh, so I'm gonna take those in as well. This dress also came in the resort box. I don't really think they're gonna take this, I'll be honest, but I'm gonna take it in anyway, just in case. It is a nice maxi dress. The problem is it doesn't have a size and I don't like listing things without sizes. So 
I think um, if they don't take that, I'm probably just going to donate it, but I figured it was worth a shot. This, where did this come in? Um, this is the, oh, it's Acceleration, which is like a Kohl's brand. And it's a velour Hanukkah dress. It says Happy Hanukkah. This came in my Thread Up Kids box, which it's not kids though. It's a it's juniors and it's a size medium. Um, nope. Acceleration is Kohl's or I think it's Kohl's, but it's not really worth much. So I'd rather take it in. It's super seasonal. Let someone else try to sell that. Um, this also came in the kids box as well. This is No Boundaries, which I think is Walmart. It was in my kids box, but it's juniors. It's a size 11, 13. So it's really super soft hoodie. It's got like the furry hood, the camo sleeves. That seemed like a good candidate for, uh, for this experiment. This is a coach bag. I haven't listed this myself because I'm not sure if it's real or not, but I'm going to see if they take it. Like a part of me wants to say it's real. I don't know. What do you guys think? The reason I think it's not real is because this, this tag on the inside here, like it's blank. Normally, normally like coach bags that I know, which I don't know much about bags. So I'll just tell you that right now. Um, normally they have like that, that's where they have the writing and the serial number. And this is just like a blank square. So I feel like it might not be real. And if I'm not sure, I'd rather not list it just because this one bag is not worth risking my status on anything. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys think this is real or not, but I'm going to check it out or see what they say or see if they'll take it. Nope. Um, oh, and then I do have this pack of socks. This came in my boutique by the box holiday accessories box. It is a big pack of like no show um, or or uh, the short um, holiday socks, but the whole pack was only eight dollars, brand new. So I felt like it wasn't worth listing. Nope. All right, the rest are all pants. These are a mid-rise jegging. The brand is YMI. Ordinarily, I would just donate these, but I figure why not give it a shot. Nope. Probably going to be the same story for most of this. Yes. Yeah, so these are universal thread. They're in really good condition, aside from the fact that they're universal thread. And I don't really want to list them and have them sitting around here. So they are going to go in. And I didn't mention that when I did that unboxing on the thread up video. Some of this stuff I would ordinarily list myself. Like I would maybe list that for $10 on Poshmark just to get a few dollars out of it. But I just don't have the space. I don't have the space right now. I have... I have so much inventory coming in that I just, I can't right now. So uh, maybe next time. These are mud. Size five. So they are juniors. And I think they're like low rise, which I know is coming back. So maybe they'll take those. Nope. More universal thread. These are high rise skinny jeans. Again, great condition. I just don't want to list them. More universal thread. These are like a khaki. And one more pair. This is the brand Divided, which is H&M. These are, I think, high rise. They look like they're high rise, like black jeans. Black cropped, good style, I think. Um, good size, or size 12. So yeah, that's everything. I didn't want to take too much in the first time and have them sort through a bunch of stuff. Like, hopefully this gives me a good idea of what they are looking for. I tried to keep it kind of simple this time, um, but because I'm over in that area frequently, I can go there often if I need to. So after I take all this in, I will update you guys. All right, you guys. So I just got back from Uptown Cheapskate. And so they're buying right now only. Um, so it only took like 15 minutes for them to go through my bag because there's nobody in the store. 
that was shopping. It was only buying. So that was pretty exciting. Normally when I go to Play-Dohs, they're like, oh, it'll be an hour, two hours, three hours, which didn't happen this time. Um, it was kind of sad though that I couldn't buy anything because they had some really cool stuff in there that's not for sale yet. Um, they did tell me that they are planning on opening either mid-December or early January, which means I have lots of time to still sell more stuff to them, which I absolutely am going to do. Now, they took a total of 11 items and they gave me a total of $58. Now, it would have been a little bit less if I would have taken the cash, but I took the credit of $58. So now I have a store credit with them of $58. So when they do open up, I can go and buy with my store credit, which I have a feeling is only going to accumulate. Um, there is one pair of pants. I'll put them here. I have a picture of them. I kind of threw them in the bag last minute just because they were in um, from an unboxing that I did just recently. They were just weird and hard to photograph and I couldn't find a description. So I just decided to throw them in the bag and um, see if they would take them. So I don't know. I, uh, I'm i excited about $58 for some of that stuff, Target brands and, and everything. It ended up coming out to about $4.60-ish per item, which for stuff I was otherwise going to donate or maybe send back to Thread Up if I ever get a label, I think that's great. So um, definitely I will try it out again. Let me know if you guys have ever sold from Uptown Cheapskate or if you've ever bought from Uptown Cheapskate. Their prices did seem a little bit high, but I'm hoping it's, you know, that they are going to run sales and stuff. So I'm interested to know what your experience is. I'm excited to have them in my neighborhood. So anyway, if you found this helpful, please subscribe. I, like I said, I'm taking a lot of more stuff to Uptown Cheapskate and I will make more videos as I take them in to show you guys what they accept. So do subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Otherwise, that's it for today. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.